If all the musicians in Manhattan were in one band, the Manhattan Music Coalition would be its microphone and Aggie Fest its stage. Thousands flooded the annual music festival last weekend to experience a local music scene that some feel doesn't get the credit it deserves. MMC members and volunteers believe that without Aggie Fest, the sounds of local musicians might fall on deaf ears. It's sort of a, a reminder that we have a live music scene. You you know, expect this, expect venues. Um, you may have to pay a little bit for it, but when it com comes down to it, it's well worth it. MMC headquarters is located in Sisters of Sound, an Aggieville-based record shop owned by sisters Sarah and Leah Kunick, who devote all of their resources to promoting Manhattan's music. Together with MMC President Evan Tuttle, they coordinated performances for nearly 80 bands in eight venues for the Friday and Saturday festival. Hosting an event of such magnitude was nothing the nonprofit organization hadn't done before. This is the fourth annual Aggie Fest. Bigger, better, and more organized. That's the biggest thing. Is each year they get more organized, flyers look better, shirts look better. Like they just build it every year. So it's really great. It's just, I mean, I've seen a lot of good acts, and the lineup this year was just stacked. Yeah. I think there's actually less acts than before, but it was stacked lineup this year. So. Some compare the excitement of Aggie Fest to a game day weekend, and considering the circumstances, that's hard to deny. K-State's football game against UCLA Saturday night glowed on big screen TVs, though it was the musicians who stole the spotlight in Aggieville. The variety of musical genres that united for the weekend was vast. Heavy metal, surf rock, acoustic guitars, and hip hop complemented rather than competed with each other's sounds. Fans describe Aggie Fest as a musical oasis. Um, I don't know. Uh, it's a uh, we have a, like a quite a melting pot of uh, you know different musicians, different categories of music. You know, uh, experimental stuff, uh, jam band stuff. You know, uh, metal, rock and roll, metal, surf, country. Yeah, it's uh, it's all over. So you know. Yeah. What I describe Aggie Fest as is a very eclectic sampling of the bands you're going to find all year long in the Manhattan area, just completely bombarding you in one weekend. It's definitely some place, if you don't know about the music scene, where you can come out, get a little bit of a sampling, and see what you like, what you don't like, so you can come support them in the future. Musicians seem to be the most grateful of all Aggie Fest attendees. The exposure Aggie Fest affords them is a reminder that they are indeed being heard and not just by fans. Aggie Fest is the ultimate exposure. <laughs> the ultimate. I mean, it's 50 plus bands playing in two days in the middle of Manhattan. And it's free. Local live music, you gotta love it. Local live music, you can't beat that, really. I mean, I mean, anytime you just you want to hear music, Aggie Fest, that's where it's at. It's every year, right? I mean, come on. This is how a lot of the managers and a lot of the, the, uh, the booking uh, people at the different venues. This is how they book their bands. And it's a good showcase and, and it's nice because it makes them more aware too because sometimes they have a hard time sorting out who's good. I mean people will send demo tapes or just try and call but if you can stand physically it, it makes them that much more aware of them and it makes them like them that much more. So it's, yeah, they're it's like just, what a presence. They're like let's get that guy. Yeah. The roads these bands will travel may lead to faraway places, but these roads converged in Manhattan last weekend thanks to the efforts of the Manhattan Music Coalition. They're great. Like, without them, the, the music scene would not be what it is at all. Especially this festival. Like, those guys, Evan Tuttle, Sarah, and Leah down at SOS, like, just so much work. That musical community is what Aggie Fest is all about. The best thing about Aggie Fest, I think, is the connections that people make with each other. 
um, last night I was watching two people have a conversation that had probably never met before and you could see the sparkle in their eyes because they were talking in the same speaking in the same language music and I could see inspiration coming out their eyes you know I could see creativity flowing because of meeting someone that shares common interests um, I think throughout the year when we don't have Aggie Fest, maybe our local bands get a little jaded into thinking that nobody really, the Manhattan's music scene is kind of dead and nobody's coming to their shows because the same people come to their shows over and over again. But I think Aggie Fest reminds them that, look how many people come out of the woodwork to come see you play. And that reminds us all that it's worth it. Reporting from The Ville, this is Whitney Hodgen with Manhattan Matters.